What's going on everyone? This is Dom and here we have the HomePod mini. Yes, this little guy right here. This is Apple's latest smart speaker. I really dig the packaging here. This thing is awesome. I've been using it for the past 24 hours. Just kind of, you know, getting a feel for things. I have and have had the original HomePod as well for quite some time since it came out basically. And this little guy right here, it's pretty nice, uh, but I do have some things about it. So let's get into all that. First up, in case you haven't seen an unboxing of this, if you just wanna see real quick what this guy comes with, uh, we will slice this uh, second space gray model that I have open. I have a white one as well. And uh, you know what? I like this packaging. I, I know I said it before, but I dig it a lot. Look at that, super clean right off the top when you open it up. It's got the same uh, kind of mesh fabric design that we saw on uh, the original HomePod. And you know what? Smell test, it smells like a, a freaking furniture store. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know why that smells good. Um, anyway, we have uh, a cable here. It's a braided cable. We have a USB type C on the end, which is nice to see because the other one, it was just integrated, right? Um, this one's kind of cool though. I, I dig the USB type C there. And also in the box, we do have a power adapter, which is weird that it's a white one, but you know, whatever. That, that's not really that big of a deal. I also was happy that to see that we do get an Apple sticker inside of here. Let's just get that guy out of there. Boom, little white Apple sticker, cool. So unboxing, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's really not much to, to talk about as far as uh, the unboxing experience goes. But in case you wanna know how to set this up, it's actually really easy. It's just like AirPods or the original HomePod or anything like that. So I have this thing plugged in right now and you can see that we have a little light on the screen and pretty soon you'll see a little notification pop up here that asks me to set this up. Got a little audible sound and boom, there you go with the little setup notification. You just tap setup, we choose a place that it's going and we will just name this one basement and send no, boom, boom, transfer settings. And we just take a little photo or we line it up over the top of the HomePod. You hear the sound and then it's setting it up. And in a few short moments, it'll be all ready to go and do whatever you want it to do. This guy right here, you know what I would really love to see for a HomePod mini is one that somehow has a battery built into it. So I can take this, look at like, look at how small this is. I would love to be able to take this and just put it anywhere, not have to plug it in, maybe recharge it. You know, I know the battery life probably wouldn't be the greatest, uh, but I'd be okay with that because this is just so portable, right? So portable. And it just looks so clean. Like I love the look of this. Obviously you can see uh, right here, we do have the, the screen up there on the top, which does light up or when you do, sorry about this guys. Hey Siri, what's the date today? It's Monday, November 16th, 2020. There you go. So <laughs> she uh, gives answers as we would expect. I mean, there's really nothing amazing with Siri happening here, but I gotta say the sound quality on this thing is a lot more surprising than I expected. So one thing that I do love about the HomePod mini is not only can you just ask assistant to play whatever you want, but you can actively just transfer stuff. You can sling stuff from your phone to HomePod. So I'm just gonna play a track here and I don't even have to touch it. Boom, you saw that little notification pop up. And you also do it in reverse. And just transfer it right back, which is actually really cool. Like to be able to just transfer stuff on the fly like that is pretty awesome. Now, I just do think it's cool. Even if something is not playing, like this isn't playing at all right now, I can just and transfer it over. I think that that's pretty awesome. Um, I, it's just that seamless integration is really, really cool. And I still, I can't get enough of it. Send it back, send it to the phone and you don't even have to touch it. It's just all like very, very seamless. Now, of course we have a pretty nice looking display up here. You can see as my voice is uh, saying things, 
it's trying to pick up what I'm doing. Let's turn that off. Uh, this does get really printy on the black model. Uh, if you're worried about that, get the white model. Obviously you won't be able to see them as much. All I know is this thing feels solid. Like it doesn't feel cheap. Obviously it shouldn't. It's $100. I mean, to put it into perspective, uh, let, me, let me show you what else you can get for $100. This is a much bigger speaker. This is the Nest audio speaker from Google. And obviously it's a lot bigger in size. It's got a lot more weight to it. It's just a more substantial thing. This is also $100, but you're not getting the ecosystem that goes along with that. You can, you can easily uh, use AirPlay with this. There's no AirPlay with that. Obviously this is an iOS versus Android thing. I love the, the Google speakers though. I think they're awesome. I love, I, here we have a, a, a baby right here as well. Um, so we have the big guy and the baby. I have all of the Amazon stuff as well. Um, I think I think it's really cool. Um, I am looking forward. I'm actually what I'm doing with these two specifically right here is uh, since the home pods, the regular ones were kind of big for me. I'm gonna put both of these guys on the side of my TV, and since I can AirPlay with my Sonos uh, soundbar and these two, I can create like a little setup between them. I, I think that that could be pretty cool. Now, as far as the actual sound quality goes and the volume on this thing, it fills up the room. Like it's really. I mean, here. Well, I'ma do with this shit. If I lose you now, let's go take a little vacay. Everybody wanna trouble with the baby. Come on, baby, pick. I know that doesn't come across like exactly, you know, through the microphones and stuff like that, but this thing is a lot louder than I expected. I will say, if you're not fully invested in the Apple ecosystem, this guy will do a lot less for you than even, let's say, this little buddy will. And that's just the name of the game, you know? They have a walled garden, Apple, and if you have other Apple things, you'll be able to use this pretty seamlessly. I mean, with with the whole uh, touch audio thing, like just to be able to transfer music, it'll do it from wherever you're at. I mean, you see that little notification? There's a little notification that pops up every time you do that. But it's little things like that that make this worth it if you're in that ecosystem, right? If you're not, then I would say probably get something cheaper because there are other things that are gonna be cheaper that are going to be comparable in volume and Potentially sound quality. I mean, that is a very subjective thing. I think this sounds really good for its size, for just everything that goes into this. I mean, it's a hundred bucks. It's not the cheapest, but it's definitely gonna sound better than something like this. Again, it's one of those situations where you might get what you pay for, but you're also paying the Apple tax. I hate to say that word, but it is a thing. If you wanna live in this ecosystem, you're gonna pay a premium for it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think that this is a win all day over the original HomePod. It's just it's just a better package. I do wish that either this was detachable so I could make a, uh, attach a longer one to it. I know I can get an extension, blah, blah, blah. Or I wish this had a battery in it because this thing, man, if I could just take this, throw it in a backpack and just take it with me to the lake, I don't know, whatever. I think it would be a major win. Maybe they'll come out with one at a later date that does that. Overall though, I mean, it's a smart speaker. It has Siri, it has music, it has the ability to easily like on the fly just transfer stuff to it, which I think is pretty cool because you can literally just walk into your house, run your phone by it, transfer what you were playing in your car right to the speaker. It's very seamless. You might be able to find other speakers at better prices that will work better for your specific situation though, but for me, I think it's an absolute win, but I wanna know what you think about the HomePod Mini down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell or I will cut you, just kidding, but you'll be able to get videos, uh, notifications for those videos when they come up in the near future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.